Hallelujah. We are all welcome in Jesus' name. Let's rise up on our feet. Let's begin to appreciate our God. Let's exalt him. Let's magnify his holy name. He's worthy to be praised. He's our father, our lover, our keeper, our sustainer. I appreciate the name of God for this year, Destiny Discovery Recovery Program. Magnify his holy name for this year. Exalt the name of God, the force of his kind in this year. Magnify his holy name. The first day, the special money due. Give him praise, give him glory, give him honor, give him adoration. His word is to be praised. The God that made promise that is yet to fulfill it. Give him praise. Worship him with the fruit of your lips. Magnify his holy name. He said he will do a new thing. I appreciate the God of new era. Worship him. Worship him, Lord. We thank you. We appreciate you. We exalt your holy name for past conference. We magnify your holy name for this year, the first of it in this year. Lord, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor for what you have done in time past. Lord, we magnify your holy name for what you are going to do this time, Ran. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. Give him adoration. Thank you, Abba Father. For in Jesus' name we pray. Zechariah 3, verse 1 to 5. Below, pray and say, Father, whatever filthiness in me that will not allow my glory to speak this season, Father, take it away. Every filthiness, every sin, everything that can hinder me, that can be a blockage for me to receive in this special program, Father, take it away in the name of Jesus. Father, give me a new raiment, Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Abba Father, for in Jesus' name we pray. Begin to invoke the presence of God into your life, both online and on ground. Ask that the Holy Spirit should come and dwell afresh in you. In the name of Jesus Christ, welcome Trinity Himself. Holy Spirit, we welcome you, La Quatali Kazonto. Ezia Catali Catoli Cazanta. La Quatali Catoli Cazanta. Masia Catali Catoli Cazanta. Le Quatali Cassanda Riba Zanto. Thank you, Abba Father. Worship the name of God. Exalt his holy name. Lord, we thank you. We appreciate you. We declare this service open. In the name of God, the Father, the Son, of the Holy Spirit. For in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Amen. Come on, let's rise to our feet. Let's begin to bless and worship the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised, awesome God. The Bible says, I'll bless the Lord at all times, and his praises shall continually be in my mouth. Let's worship him. We give you glory, Lord. As we honor you, we give you glory, Lord, as we worship you.
is wonderful, your name is excellent, your name is beautiful. We worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got it all in you. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Lord, your name is wonderful. Your name, your name is excellent. Friends. Your name is beautiful. We worship, we worship you, Lord, for you are mighty. You've got it all in you. You've got it all Celebrating with the clapping of your hand. Give him all the glory, all the honor, all the adoration. Father, we thank you for the first day of our conference. To you alone be all the glory. Thank you, our Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Hallelujah. We know that you have testimony. The minister are waiting for you at the back there for you to share your testimony with them so that it can be multiplied in this conference season in the name of Jesus. It is time for our intercessory prayer the first prayer is taken from luke chapter 1 verse 37 for we go nothing shall be impossible with a ladder for it can we say my father my father my father my father let the discovery and recovery conference answer to his name new dawn my glory must speak in the lives of all participants and attendees in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice unto heaven this morning. Let the discovery and recovery conference answer to his name. New dawn, my glory must speak in the life of all participants and attendees in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my father, let the discovery and recovery conference of this year, 2024, answer to his name, new dawn, my glory must speak in the life of all participants and attendees in the name of Jesus. Let there be new dawn. Let glory of all participants and attendees speak in the mighty name of Jesus. Open a new chapter, a new era in the life of all attendees and participants in the name of Jesus. Let there be new dawn. Let there be new dawn in the life of all attendees and participants. Let glory of everyone speak in the mighty name of Jesus. He la to shata. He la riagadosha. He la katagadash. He pradagadosa. He le ketosa. He la do shitada. He la rangadosha. He le katosa. He pradagadash. He le gedasha. He la pradosa. He le ketosha. He la randosi. He kadadash. My father, my father. Let the discovery and recovery conference answer to his name. New dawn. My glory must be in the lives of all participants and attendees in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Psalm 136, verse 4. 
To him whom alone dwell great wonder, for his mercy endure forever. Amen. Can we say, my father, my father, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every participant and attendees at Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024 be supernaturally positioned for all round wonders in all areas of life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's lift our voice unto God for supernatural positioning. Supernatural positioning. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus, let every participant and attendee at Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024 be supernaturally positioned for all round wonders in all areas of life in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let every participant and and attendees at Discovery and Recovery Conference 2024 be supernaturally positioned for all round wonders in all areas in the name of Jesus. Father, we ask for supernatural positioning during this conference for all attendees and participants for all round wonders in all areas of life and destiny. In the name of Jesus, Hashato Sika, Eleke Paradagadadasha, Aragada. No one will miss out. Ela Katosha, Aragadasha. No one will miss their portion. In the name of Jesus, supernatural position, position for wonders, position for signs, position for healing, position for miracles. In the name of Jesus, all around wonders. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Still in the mood of intercession. Majiga baradash ke baradosha. Lege brede baradash. Hosias is the free. Then shall we know that if we follow on to know the Lord, he is going forth and is prepared as the morning. And it shall come unto us as the rain, as the latter former rain unto the earth. Let's try to God and say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my God. We ask that greater dimensions of your presence and power shall be released upon every section for the delivery of all expectations and desires at the destiny discovery and recovery conference and to this special power touch communion service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's cry to the Almighty God. My Father, my Father, we ask that greater dimensions of your presence and power shall be released upon every section for the delivery of all expectations and desire at this destiny discovery a recovery conference and to this special power to communion service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Limbra do bajada praya gadosha. Erre kwa pasada barada brigadish. Le e prado bajada barada brigadish. Mazanto prajaga la gadosha. Erre kwa pasada praya gabarosha. My father, my God, we ask the greater dimensions of your presence greater dimension of your power shall be released upon every section for the delivery of all expectations and desire at this destiny discovery and recovery conference and today's special power to communal service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Laga prada barada brigadusha, embezento praja gada gadasha, leke prado barada praja gadesh, le prado praja gada gadasha, le prado mazanto praja gada gadosha. Let's begin to cry for His presence. Let's lay hold on His power. Jale prado ma yagadosha. My Father, my God, we ask the greater dimensions of your presence, greater dimension of your power shall be released upon every session for the delivery of all expectations and desires and the destiny discovery and recovery conference and to this major power to come in your service in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Jale Pratosa, La Gabella de Bregadosa, Le e prato ma yabrerus, jaga barada bragadosa, mele de prato ma yabrerus, jaga prada barada bragadus, le e prato ma yabada bragadus, mazanto praya gadagadus, le prato ma jaga barada bragadus, mazanto praya gadagadus. Thank you, my heavenly Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name we are praying. Acts chapter seventeen verse six. And when they found them, they drew just in a certain brethren unto the rulers of the city, crying, 
these that have turned the world upside down are come here also. Let's cry to God and say, My father, my father, say, My father, my father, cause an army of world changers to emerge from this church through diverse encounters at destiny discovery and recovery conference in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let's cry to the Almighty God, My father, my father, cause an army of world changers to emerge from this church through diverse encounters and destiny discovery and recovery conference in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Le prato ma shanda barirusa el ke prato ma rada barirus. My father, my father, cause an army of world changers to emerge from this church through diverse encounters and destiny discovery and recovery conference in the mighty name of Jesus. My reto praya barirusa je ke prato ma rada my father, my God, cause an army of war changers to emerge from this church through diverse encounters and this death in discovery and recovery conference in the name of Jesus Christ. La Prato, my Thank you. My heavenly Father, blessed be your holy name, O Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. To the powerful new dawn, Amen, 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 and Amen. Let's give Jesus a big clap of rain, and please kindly take your seat. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus and give Him praise. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Please take your seat. It is time to take Power Touch Daily Devotional. You are welcome to Discovery. A recovery conference 2024. Celebrate Jesus with a shout of hallelujah. Amen. Today's topic is divine purpose. Divine purpose. You will find it in the name of Jesus. Romans chapter 9 verse 11. Romans 9 11. For the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose of God according to election might stand not of works, but of him that call it. The words of wisdom. The reason for your birth is your destiny. And when you discover it, it becomes your assignment and purpose for living. You will not miss it in Jesus' name. God's purpose is the secret of God's presence. Exodus chapter 3 verse 12. And he said, certainly I will be with thee. And this shall be a token unto thee that I have sent thee. When thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt, ye shall serve God upon this mountain. If you are in God's purpose, you enjoy guidance, and hence you cannot make mistake. You will not make mistake in the name of Jesus. Unlimited breakthrough is the reward of anyone who is operating in divine purpose. Psalm 112 verse 3. Psalm 112 verse 3. Wet and riches shall be his, in his house. And his righteousness endured forever. Everything will work in your favor when you are in God's purpose. Remember, whatever God calls for, he provides for. Number two, divine purpose magnetizes helpers of destiny around for your sources. People naturally come to you to provide solution to their challenges. Second Samuel chapter 23 verse 8. So these being the names of the mighty men whom David had, the Tacomite that sat in the seat, chief among the captains, the same was Adino, an ex knight. He lift up his spear against 800, whom he slew at one time. God will surround you with relevant solution provider in the name of Jesus. I can't hear your better amen. Divine purpose makes you to enjoy divine direction. That shall be your portion from today in the name of Jesus. Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 For I know the thought that I think towards you, said the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. When God is leading you, obstacles on your path to marital destiny, career, and any other vital area of your life will be removed because God's purpose must be fulfilled through you. Somebody say amen. What is our assignment? Number one, live a holy life always. Always live a holy life. And number two, ask God for your reason, for the reason for your creation. Ask God for the reason.
for your creation. Let's be upstanding as we take the following prayers. Let's say, Father, say, Father, I thank you for the purpose you have for me in destiny in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, make me carrier of your presence, thereby enjoy divine direction in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father, from today, let unlimited breakthrough be my portion in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by divine purpose, everything shall begin to work in my favor in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by the power of divine purpose, helpers of destiny shall begin to come in my direction in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, we make a demand that all our newcomers and new converts shall begin to find their feet in divine purpose in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, empower, empower me and make me a solution provider to my generation in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, by your leading, I shall escape obstacles and obstruction on my way to my seat of glory in the name of Jesus. Say, my Father, my Father, we make a demand that you visit we turn around testimonies, everyone on the line for miracle marriage and miracle babies this year in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my father, we make a demand that the senior pastors and all the pastors and the minister shall be anointed with divine grace for amazing results this year in the name of Jesus. Let's power it in the Holy Ghost. E pako city yama leke to paradi e brigado sata yaba le brigidoza e le kwa santa le breketeria zaka posa kato pa la katida da e brigadoza balata saka higa e kato paruda ba santa le e ra santa le praduza thank you king of glory in Jesus mighty name we are praying let us stretch forth our hands as we receive the senior pastor prophetic declaration for today every power that want to scatter your destiny shall be scattered in the mighty name of Jesus. To the powerful amen. 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 And amen. amen. Jam your hands together and please take your seat. If that hand is for Jesus, you can do better, 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 and better. Hallelujah. It is time for testimony. And I want to call out this following brother for his testimony. As he comes out, you put your hands together for Jesus. Assistant Pastor Peter Achille, put your hands together for Jesus. While he comfort, I read this documented testimony that just came in. It says, good afternoon, sir. The prophecy has been fulfilled, sir. The word came that someone's name will be included in the list of a foreign trip, and you will not have to spend any amount, all expenses paid. My name has been included in the inspection team, going to Ireland, and I was informed that we will be going on Sunday, 2nd March, sir. I don't have a dime in all the expenses, both the visa, the flight, the hotel bills, feeding, and sitting tour. To God be the glory. Thank you, sir. The oil of God on you will never run dry. That will be your testimony also in the name of Jesus. Can you celebrate Jesus one more time? Sir, your name and your testimony. Church, praise the Lord. Somebody shout hallelujah. My name is Rapita Achille. I'm here to give God the praise for his goodness, for his loving kindness, his protection and provision over my life. God has been so faithful to me. I want to thank God for leading me to this great commission, for connecting me to, our, to the senior pastor, our daddy, Pastor Matthew Morakio, and ever since then, my life has drastically changed from glory to glory. God has been blessing me and my family. Things, before, ever, before I came to this commission, things was not right, at least, actually okay for us. Then I was struggling from hand to mouth. Even to pay school fees was a challenge. But to the glory of God, the Lord Almighty brought me here. God saved me. Help me. People that used to mock me, they no longer mock me again. In fact, they are looking on to me. The area where I'm living, in fact, some people usually come to my house to come and ask for some things. And by the grace of God, I have been, God has been so faithful to use me to solve their solution. 
And also, I want to thank God for what God has done for me today. It's a special day for me. Today, being 25th of March, God has added another year to my age. Somebody shout hallelujah. I have come to return all the glory to God. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty Who was and is and he is to come Blessed, blessed be the Lord God Almighty See you. 
blessing this morning. Let's give him all the glory. He gave us the light of the day. It's not by power, nor by might, nor by your strength. Let's give him all the praise. Let's decorate him with the words of our mouth. Let's honor him. Let's exalt him. This is just the beginning. Let's give him all the praise. Let's give him all the honor. Let's give him all the adoration. Ever faithful ever sure the lion of the tribe of judah immortal invisible omnipotent omniscience father we worship you we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration father we worship you blessed be your holy name you are the king of glory you are the lord of glory you are the I am that I am. You never fail. You never change. You remain the same. Father, we lift you up. Father, we lift you high. Father, we exalt you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. In Jesus' name we pray. Proverbs chapter 8 verse 17. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 17. Mm. I can congratulate you ahead of time for this is your conference. Would you love to read with me on the multimedia? there? I love them that love me and those that seek me early shall find me. Congratulations. Congratulations. Because God has the time you can find him. Those that seek me early shall find me. In this morning section, you will find Jehovah. You will find your maker. Anyone that find God, find goods. You can't find God in the morning and meet with evil in the afternoon. No, it's not possible. So, they that find me, they that seek me early shall find me. Lift up your voice. Say, my father, my God. Say, my father, my God. Say, my father, my God. In this conference, I will find you. Say, my father, I have come to seek you and I will find you. Go ahead and pray. I have come to seek my maker and I will find him. I have come to seek my maker and I will find him. I have come to seek my maker, and I will find him. I have come to seek my maker, and I will find him. Oh, my father, oh, my maker, let me find you. 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 Mashatalada bariatada, esheketonova, 
Uh, I like you to pray with all your heart this morning. I like you to pray with all your heart this morning. Lord, let me find you. When I find you, I will find me. When I find you, I will find me. Masata la da barusa, eshelega dega dosa, imakova, eshelega dosa, ilia tos, leveyana, eshelega dega dosa, imparusa, eshelega dega dosa, inkakwa, elepa nasa, esheke tosara, impokuzidia, ayane keteza. Oh, Bariatada, Eshalagadagadoshara, my father, let me find you this morning. Let me find you this morning. I have come to seek you early. Let me find you. Let me find you. Mashata Lada Bariata, Esheke Pokotunda, Eshayada. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Jeremiah 11. 29 or Jeremiah 29 11 to 13 Jeremiah 29 11 to 13 I decree and declare this morning you will find your maker that you have come early to find him you will see your maker and when you find him you will find you for in him we live in him we move in him we have our being you, you will find yourself. Look at it. Would you like to read with me? For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Say the Lord. The thoughts of peace and not of evil. No evil will happen to you this year. So forget that devil that is suggesting anything. They won't see cancer in your system. They won't see evil in your system. This is your manufacturer. That say not of evil. For your children, not of evil. For your business, not of evil. For your career, not of evil. And to give you an expected end. Before I made you, I know where you are going to end your race. To give you an expected end. Look at verse 12. Then shall ye call upon me. You see the place of prayer now. Then shall ye call upon me. And ye shall go. And pray unto me. And I will hearken unto you. Look at the catch point. Want you go. And ye shall seek me. And find me. How? Don't allow distraction. These seven days. Any distraction can cause an attack. Don't allow. If you seek me with all your heart. Not that part of your heart is seeking something else. Part of this one is... Don't allow anybody to distract you. Give him all attention that he takes. Uh, if you want to find purpose, you will need focus. You will need focus. And you shall seek me and find me. When you shall search for me with all your heart. It's not enough to come early in the morning. It's important to be focused. Say I will be focused. Say I will be focused. Say I will be focused. So he said, I know the thought that I have towards you. Revised, uh, revised standard, we say, I know the plan I have for you. Say my father. Say my father. Say my father. All the plans that you have for me before I was conceived in my mother's womb, let it manifest now. Go ahead and pray. Manifestation of your plan for my life. You are the potter. I am the clay. Manifestation of your plan for my life. All the plan. All the intention that you have for me. Before I was conceived in my mother's womb. Father, let it manifest. Let it be unveiled. Let it manifest. Let it be unveiled. Mashata lada bariata. Eleva rosa. Eshelega de godosha. Amakatoza, Eshelegadosidia, Ikatoza, Maruanaga, Emperoto, Eshelegadosha. All the plans that you have for me before I was conceived in my mother's womb. Father, let there be manifestation. Let there be manifestation. 
I am a child of destiny. Mashata lada bariata. Isha nagado shada. Elebo. I know the plan. I know the purpose. I know the destiny that I have for you. Let there be manifestation. Let there be manifestation. Mashata lada bariata. Isha leke poto. Empariata. Asha lagado shada. Empariata. Isha lagadash. Inakata. Isha nagado shada. Enriatada. Osiria. Arosa. In Jesus mighty name we pray. Maybe the last one. Hear this. It's never late to be right. That of Moses started at 80. That of Abraham at 75. At Joseph 17. Never too early, never too late. Whatever it is that is in your destiny that you have not done from this morning, you will begin to do it. As long as you are breathing, you can fulfill destiny. And there are two statements when anybody is going home. The angel will either say a champion is coming home or a failure is coming home. You won't be a failure. So finally, you are going to pray, Lord, everything that is in my destiny to do on this earth that I have not done, it's time to do it. You want to pray it? Everything that you created me for, that you manufactured me for, that I have not done from this morning, it's time to do it. Jesus said, this day, the scripture is fulfilling your ear. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Say, my father, my father. Everything that is in my destiny, that I'm yet to do, my father, it's time to do it. My moment has come. In the name of Jesus, pray with all your heart now. My moment has come. Pray with all your heart. Pray with all your heart. My moment has come. Kalish Katoza, Eroto. I'm going to do it, and I will do it successfully. Shalada Barriata, Eparreda. My moment has come. My moment has come. My moment has come. Bashata Lada Barriata, Eleva Rosa. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. Mashata Lada Barrosa. Eshalagadosha. Epariata. Eshalagadosha. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. Mashalada Barriata. Eketana. Eparrosa, Eshaladosa, Imparata. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. I'm going to discover it. I'm going to recover it. Masata Ladosa, Eshaladas, Imparata, Eleva Rosa, Eshaladosa, Eketa, Eshada. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. I decree and declare you will discover it. You will recover it. In this one week of reboot and boot camp with Jesus and camping around the Holy Ghost, you will discover it. You will recover it. In the name of Jesus, if it was not late for Moses, if it was not late for Abraham, it's not late for you. You will make your mark before you leave this earth. This word we know you came. In the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit we thank you. You are the mighty God. The great. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty Lift your hands to Father. The great I am. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are the mighty God. The great I am. 
wa fada Hallelujah Hallelujah church six and seven edition we are grateful please accept our thanks and praises in jesus name in this particular week let everybody discover let everybody recover whatever you need to see god will open your eyes he said call on to me i will answer you this is the way you will not have answered you i will show you great and mighty thing that you are yet to know. This week, God will show you. And whatever he show you, will make you a show. In the name of Jesus, so Holy Spirit, over to you. Take over from this point and let your name be glorified. Thank you, Father. Jesus, mighty name, we pray. Somebody say, I receive it. Somebody say, I embrace it. Somebody say it is mine. Somebody say I will testify. I'd like you to walk up to three people and tell them, my friend, God will bless you in this conference, but my blessing will be greater than your own. Will you tell three people, my friend, God will bless you in this conference, 
but my blessing will be greater than your own. Make sure you get three. It's a number of Trinity. Hallelujah. The Lord will bless you in this conference, and my blessing will be greater than you. How many people got three? A brother or a sister? Let the fellow shout the loudest. Hallelujah. Please be seated. You are welcome to church, and you are welcome to 2024 Discovery and Recovery Conference. Friends, if you're clapping, you can clap better for Jesus and applause him. Hallelujah. In the journey of life, what we don't know are more than what we know. And most of the time, what we don't know is the reason behind most of our challenges. So the scripture says, let everyone that think he knows, know that he does not know as he ought to know. That there is still yet much to know. Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2 and 3. There is still yet more to know. Because it is what you know that make you a show. You see, in this kingdom, we do exploit by what we know. Then uh, 1132b, from part A, it said, They that do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt. But they that do know their God shall be strong. You are not weak because of what you do. Or because of your age. You are only weak because of what you don't know. When you know as you ought to know, your strength will increase. You see, in this kingdom, our energy is dependent on our knowledge of our God. They that do know their God shall be strong and do exploit. Deuteronomy chapter 34, verse 7 and verse 9. A man knew God face to face. His name was Moses. Deuteronomy 34, verse 7. He was 120 years old when he died. Now look at his testimony. Full, semi, uh, full column. His eyes was not dim. Nor his natural force abated. Why? He told God, show me your glory. I want to see you. He knew God face to face, so uh, it has affected his system. In fact, he could not die. God had to take him somewhere. God had to kill him. He could not die. So i like you to sit around knowledge base this season. Very, very important. It is what we know that determines our knowledge. Not what we preach, not it is what we know. Now, in the kingdom, knowledge is based on experiential knowledge. What you have undo, what you have touched, what you have accustomed with, what you have practiced. So this season, in the name that is above every other name, your strength will not fail you. Your energy will be renewed. In the name of Jesus Christ. I was telling my wife yesterday, that was, we finished around the third service. It should be around 125 or so. And I said, I need to go so that I can prepare for the night. Then we have a couple of people seeing us in the office. And I said, I have not blinked my eyes since 11 p.m. of yesterday. That was Saturday, you know, preach all and then, because after the prayer, um, whatever, in the morning, Sunday morning, you know, sitting up there and download and deluge. I said, I have not blinked my eye. At the time, I was touching my body. Am I sure I am still around here? And yet, I don't feel it. It's, look, all this is failing me here. It's, mm -mm. It's not because of his knowledge. There is something you will know that will make you a show. 
So therefore, every sickness in your body is disappearing now. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. Every oppression of the devil in any area of your life is getting away now. In the name of Jesus Christ. The beauty of a rubber band is when it is stretched. The, the beauty. Now, they are calling for all kinds of meetings because of some certain meeting that will be coming up in some continent. And you have to meet up with your own time. Get ready. What you are about to be opened up to the next phase of your destiny. So this morning, God is starting with us on a good note. In every morning section, we'll be running on a team. My glory must speak. My glory must speak. My glory must speak. Psalm 8, verse 4 to 5. Why about glory? There is sharply because we'll be doing more prayer in the morning. Make sure you don't miss morning section and the evening section. And in the evening, we'll be running on new dawn. New dawn. A new face. The evening section. So the morning section is my glory must be. What is man that thou art mindful of him? And the son of man that thou visited him. Verse 5. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and with honor. So this section is, my glory must speak, part one, dash, arise. Arise. My glory must speak, part one, dash, arise. Here it is, man was created with glory. Man was created with glory originally. In that psalm, he said, Thou crown him with glory and honor. Man was the zenith of God's creation. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 to 28. God has been creating things, light, all that, all that, light, firmament, water, animal, and then at the peak, he said, let us make man in our image. You are the zenith. You are the peak. You are the ultimate of God's creation. Because you are going to be the one to manage what he has created. Believe me, honestly, everything he has created will make no meaning until he created man. And he created this powerful mansion. He said, let us make him in our own image. He made him in a spirit nature. Praise the Lord. And just cement him with the body. Very powerful. Thing. So in God's order, after God is not angel, is man. After God in that hierarchy is man. Because man is to represent him here on earth. What God wanted to do is that a part of heaven will be replicated on the earth. A part of heaven will be replicated on the earth so that man can govern. He wanted man to reign. Thank God for King Charles now. You know, Mama didn't go until the guy was about 70 or above 70. They continue to call him the Prince of Wales. They can't call him the King of England. As long as Mama reign. If all of us were with God in heaven, there's no way we can reign. So he needed an extension of his kingdom so that man can reign. You are created to reign. Don't live like a peasant. Don't live like a slave. That's not your destiny. You are to rule and to reign on this earth. Sickness, disease, affliction is not to reign upon your life. So therefore, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, everything that is not of God reigning over your life, today we set them on fire. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. So we were created in glory and no, no. But Adam dropped the ball and then 
man was brought back to God by redemption. So number one point is, we are created for glory. Secondly, we are redeemed for glory. We are redeemed for glory. Not just created for glory alone, but also our redemption as well. We are redeemed for glory. That's why he said, the sin has cut short the glory. But he brought man back to himself. Somebody, you are coming back to him. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. First Peter chapter 5, verse 10. After you have suffered for a while, a little, the God of all grace, who call you to his eternal glory in Christ Jesus, is eternal glory for all our senior citizens. It has not finished for you. There is a next phase. There is a next phase. If God keeps you alive, there is something in your destiny. There's something in your destiny. In the realm of the spirit, there is nothing like old age. No. As long as you can go, God can take you. In Joshua chapter 13, verse 1 and 2, Joshua 13, 1 and 2, Joshua was around 110 then. And he said, Joshua, you are getting old. Why are you getting old? There are much land before you. You are well striking in here. That's why we keep making it back. Hear this. The secret of being relevant is continuous impact. The secret of being relevant is continuous impact. There are many people in the music industry in those days that you were hearing 30 years ago. Some of them are still alive. But nobody is hearing about them because they stopped making impact. If you will not stop making impact, you will continue to be relevant till you step into glory. We have our fathers today in the area of faith who are still relevant, making impact. Lethargy, indolence, arrest destiny in oblivion. You will never join that list in the name of Jesus. So this morning, God is saying, arise. Isaiah chapter 60, verse 1 to 3. Now, the ministration of today, of this morning, I just began. This is it. You say, what have you said before? Foundation. Arise. Do what? Arise. Shine. Why? For thy light has come. Say, my light has come. The pain inside bone has just disappeared. The pain inside bone has just disappeared. This fellow, you find yourself in the dream over the night, back in the village. Every arrangement of the devil to return you back to square one has been set on fire. Arise, shine, for thy light is come. And the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Read with me verse 2. For behold, the darkness shall cover the head, and gross darkness the people, but the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Verse 3. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Praise the Lord. When... God says, arise, is a commanding word. Just like, let there be light. It's a commanding word. Number two, is a word of prophecy. Your destiny, arise. Somebody with affliction on the left toe, that arrow return back to sender. Arise, is a commanding word. Arise, is a prophetic word. Praise the Lord. Arise from frustration. Arise from lethargy. Amplified Bible will say, Arise from where the circumstance of life has kept you. What are you arising for? From every situation where life has kept you, you are rising. Look at it. Arise from depression. Every spirit of depression, I curse it in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever has tampered with your joy and taken your joy, Jehovah is setting you free from it. Look at it. Arise from depression. Arise from prostration. Arise means somebody that is on the floor, frustrated. 
arise from there. In which circumstance has kept you? It is the circumstance of life that keep people on the floor. You, don't, you are not meant for the floor. You are meant for the top. I've kept you. I've kept you. Therefore, in the name of Jesus, from where life has kept you, you are coming out. And I'll look at the story of a man that we're going to pray about him very briefly. Mark chapter 10, verse 46 to 52. Mark 10, 46 to 52. His name was Jabez. God created him that his glory will shine. God created him that long more than 2,000 years ago, after he has gone, that they will still be talking about him. But why in the process of his birth, I know that something happened. The two eyes could not see. So, and he just accepted destiny and he kept on begging. No wife, no children, nothing, no destiny. But one day, where, where he was begging, he heard that the one who raised the dead, the one who cleansed the leper, the one who is the son of God was passing by, and he jumped into the moment. And you need to realize that. Be sensitive to the moment. And then he began to cry for his two eyes. And then he was told, Arise, he called thee. He rose out of that situation. Not quite long. He got settled. He got married. He got children. He got destiny. And his glory began to speak again. In the name that is above every other name. It doesn't matter the situation this conference has met you. The reason for your creation shall start again. If your amen can be better, the miracle will be faster. I said the miracle will be faster. I said the miracle will be faster. So what are the things that Bartimaeus arose from? Number one, that you need to arise from. Number one, he arose from Jericho. He arose from Jericho. Mark chapter 10 verse 46. The place was beside Jer Jericho where he was begging. Jericho is a place of barricade. You have to arise today if you want your glory to speak from anything limiting your destiny. The glory will not shine as long as you are barricaded by Jericho. And Jericho is not just ordinary fence. It's a demonic fence. It's one step to your destiny. Jericho will not mind wasting your journey of 40 years. He will not mind. Jericho will want to put bus stop to where there should be transition. Jericho will not allow your next phase. Jericho had to come down. And you can't bring Jericho down by your power. It will take God. Because even if Jericho fall, it will still be a war. Jericho is like a cube of sugar. When you turn it this side, it's still a war. Because the, the four chariots can run a race on the top of Jericho. A very popular prostitute has a duplex on top of Jericho. People build houses on top of Jericho. So it was a thick wall. It was a thick wall. So when it falls, it becomes another wall. So the only thing you can do to Jericho is for Jericho to sink. Is for Jericho to sink. Jericho will make sure that nothing is coming to your hands and nothing is going out of your hand. Joshua chapter 6, verse 1 to 2, and verse 20 and 21. He said Jericho was strictly shut. Nothing is going out, nothing is coming in. When you are that state that nothing is going out, nothing is coming in, you are not giving, they are not giving to you. It's a terrible state to be. No one. Strictly short. Everything is just tightened around you. You need to rise. If the glory will speak and come out of Jericho. Something, someone, you are coming out of Jericho today. So that's the first prayer this morning. Number two, you need to arise from blindness. Arise from blindness. Mark chapter 10 verse 46. 
he saw a blind man he saw a blind man you need to arise from blindness you need to arise from situation of life that you are thinking has made you handicapped question if you have all the money in the world today what will you like to do blindness is not the challenge at least we have read of Ellen Keller that they ask her what can be worse than blindness he said to have sight and not see when you see people that give excuse in life you have seen failure in life there is a man today i don't know how to pronounce his name i believe he's an australian man he doesn't have two hands he doesn't have leg as it were he only one or two shot out you know he was limp i think he wrote a book no excuse today he's married today he has children today he can do everything that a normal woman being can do excuses are the nails that they used to build a house of failure there is nothing that makes you to be in the situation where you are no no you it's a choice it's a choice oh what can i do this is nigeria now this is nigeria who says so <laughs> you can do a lot so he, he, because of his blindness he was begging he was begging so he just accepted destiny the day you begin to respond to situation is the day you begin to take destiny in the hand number three arise from begging arise from begging mark 10 46 arise from begging he was begging. The Bible says he sat on the highway begging. Arise from begging. There are many people who have made profession of begging. Can you raise me here? Can you raise me here? Have you wondered, many of the touts that you see in the garage, 10 years, 20 years, they are there. Just living from hands to mouth. Living from hands to mouth. Oh, give me this. Give me that. 10 years, 30 years, they are there. And then they just die like that. Why? Because they are dependent they are beggar they are not ready to be significant they are not ready to volunteer they are not ready to solve problem hear this the day you know about solving problem in this world you have known about how to get out you have known about how to get out it's not about making money it's about making impact it is your impact that will bring much much money than what you will need. I was getting out and I just was just where my numbers are, you know, native something. And then somebody saw me at the airport. And right from there, he said, Look, the weather is still cold. And ordered about four packages. Now the question is, what impact has been made in the life of such person? This is a millionaire, you know, and that has made him to do such thing without asking and by the time we get there to, to up to the shoe is there uh, the way you are going you don't like it we only met at airport sir impact is superior to income it's superior so every form of begging around your life today it expires when that begging by style or begging directly, whether fine bara, decent bara, none of the bara you are to do. Because your destiny is more than that. Can I hear you hear me? Number four, arise beyond the mockers. If you want your glory to speak, don't listen to mockers. Mark 10 48. The people told him, if Jesus is in people, is it you that he will see? You see, many of us, we have left our destiny in the hand of people. Oh, because of what people will say, oh, oh because of this, oh, oh, because of this, oh, you better fulfill your destiny. If you fail, they will talk. If you succeed, they will talk. Now choose one. Why not Kuku succeed? And let them talk. No matter what you do in this world, Somebody that have died, they are still talking about him. They don't mind him. Don't mind him. 
If you fail, they will talk. If you succeed, they will talk. Now, choose to succeed. They told the man, look, stop, shut up your mouth. This cover cover we are giving, we won't give you again. You are shouting. Is, is it because of this cover cover that I should not see? It was in record that his eyes will see. If he had listened to Mocha, he would have kept short. A close mouth is a close destiny. A close mouth is a... If your glory must speak, listen to God, listen to those that can advise you well. But anyone that will talk you down from your destiny, be careful. Be careful. Be careful. They say, hold your peace. Keep your mouth shut. Many of us were where we are because of what people will say. You offend yourself in order to please others. What about what kind of life? On the last day, you will stand as individual, not as corporate. You give account how you have run the race. Praise the Lord. Can I hear your amen? And then number five, arise from evil garment and negative identity. Mark 10, 50. And he cast away his garment, rose, and came to Jesus. What is that garment that will not allow your destiny to speak? Maybe character flaw. Maybe one thing or the other. Maybe passing. Anything that has covered your original identity is evil garment. Now, that garment will not allow him to run the race. The Bible calls certain things. There are two things. There is sin, there are weight. They are not necessarily sin, but they are weight. And when you see the athletes, they don't carry weight so that they can run their race well. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. There are weight. It's not a sin to watch a movie, but it's a weight. Because you should use that time preparing for where you are going. Three hours is gone. Six hours is gone. Seven hours is gone. Only. There are. It's good to sleep. Very good. But there are 24 hours in the day. By the time you sleep for eight hours, when you are 60, you have used 20 hours of your 20 years of your life to sleep. When you you don't want to win a sleeping competition. It's not a sin to sleep. It's good. But it's a weight to oversleep. It's a weight. It's a weight. Every day that I catch three hours, two hours, oh, there is good. It's a weight. It's a weight. So that I can fulfill my destiny in my lifetime before the whistle is blown so that I can reach my goal. It's, it's not a sin. No, no. It's not a sin. And there is no way you can make anybody to run the rest of your own because they will see it as an offense. So, cast away that garment. What have you done with life? Now, 24 hours. Do you know by the time it's 12, half of the day is gone? Half of the day is gone. You don't have all the time. You don't have eternity to fulfill destiny. Please, cut away the garment. By May now, we were talking about eight years of this assignment. Just like that. It does not take time for time to fly. And you need to fulfill your assignment within your lifetime. Praise the Lord. He said the night is coming. John chapter 9 verse 4. The night is coming when no man can walk. Cast away that coming. There are people, they will get outside the country. And by the time they are coming, even with the place, they are, they are back in the church. They are back at work. You will never see a billionaire who sleep eight hours. You will never see one. No. No. What some of those guys, mm -mm. Most, most of the work that they do, mm -mm. I was looking at Obama in the down street. United Kingdom, the other day just came around. 
at that age, this, you guys still under 60 or so now. He has fulfilled destiny. The wife was celebrating 55 the other day or something. And she said, I've seen it all. He said, I've seen it all. She wrote a book, Becoming. Here it is. This garment of too much sleep, you must cast it out. Too much eating, you must cast it out. Sometimes in order for me to stay awake at my work, not that I want to cast out demons, I may need to go without food because much of the food makes you to sleep too much. The blood will go to that area and then you just be sleeping. So in order to responsibility, we came in on Sunday, you know, by 5.30 flight. And my wife was asking me, the message you pray, when did you prepare? Because I was to all around, nobody has time. And if you see the message of the pastor, because we did the same message to all the pastor, it was a note. It was a note. Within that time, note that inside the plane, another, another, left by 10.30, blew in, another. And, and because the message must be preached, what keeps many people awake is their responsibility. It's their, we finish prayer machine on Sunday morning by one and all that. Prayed a little. I was on my seat till 5, eight, five 10. And then that's when put on my dress. Preach in all the three services. And um, still see some people. Within the time, there are schedule I can't tell you. How do you ensure your glory speak? Number one, be sensitive. To know the time has come for your glory to speak. Mark chapter 10 verse 47. See my time has come. See my time has come. See my time has come. Be sensitive. Sensitivity is your greatest asset. There are some of you that this week you will be signing contract in billions. Just be sensitive. For example, whenever new administration comes in, what comes to your mind? Be sensitive. You'll be hearing a testimony this evening. I was sharing it with them. The woman just came around. She took the letter from the author. She said, you just kept on saying director. Director. I said, daddy, which director? Now I'm in level 10. Anyway, since daddy is saying it, I go. We just kept on going and collect it. We kept on going and collect it. There was a woman that has retired at level 10. Some years back, maybe 2012, they are about. And then one of those days, she came, the war came like that. She picked the uh, letter, and somebody saw her at the airport. And said, Ah, well, I've not been seeing you flying. He said, No, I've uh, retired so that I can concentrate. He said, No, 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 we need you in service. That's how they brought her back home. Now, just in one day, this, this, just, just, this just happened of reason. You hear it this evening. In one day, she moved from level 10. To level 15. She gave me the letter yesterday. And I said, oh, I wonder. He said, no, daddy, you have not ready. Then I sat and I read. They said, you are hereby promoted from level 10 to level 11. And then there's a social so, so, principal or something. Uh, then from 2013 to 2014, you are promoted to level uh, 13 to level 14. Like that, like that. You are now deputy director. Next year, she will be director. Can a nation be born in one day as soon as Zion thrive? Hear this. A lot can still happen in your destiny. Be sensitive to the new season. Number two, heart cry for mercy. Heart cry for mercy. The way some of us pray, I suspect some must have another God <laughs> that they cry to. Because when you see somebody praying, I oh God, I oh God, are you there upstairs? When there is a bunny issue. You know what I mean? I but you mean say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. It was his cry that attracted Jesus. A blind man was crying and Jesus stood still. You see, most of the time, many don't have what is pursuing them. They don't have what is pursuing them. So, it shows in their prayer. But there are some of all, 
we know that we don't have alternative to God. We don't even have a relative. We don't have alternative. We don't have a relative. We only have God relative. God, God relative. So we make use of it. One day I told God, they say you hear prayer, you will hear from me. You will hear from me because I will stay there until your hand come upon me. I'll stay there. I'll stay there. So add cry for mercy and then remove every garment of hindrance. Mark 10, 50. Remove every garment of hindrance. Two more sleep, remove it. One of us, he said to me, he said, Daddy, once I catch about four hours sleep and all that, I just imagine. Yet, in the midst of all comfort, and yet, he will awake. And that's how he's been able to manage many things. And then, finally, you need your eyes to be open. Mark 10, 51. Abacot chapter 2, 1 to 4. Mark 10, 51. Abacot 2, 1 to 4. What is that? Fission. If you will rise, you need a new fission. You see, when you want a small child that is crawling to come, just put, you know, that's why in the primary schools, they use fissure uh, aids more. Fissure aid. That's what they use in the primary school because children respond to what they can see. Hear this. Nobody can rise if he has not seen. Nobody can. You, are, you need a new fissure. The greatest miracle God can do for you is to open your eyes. You will not run if God didn't show you what is in your destiny. If God show you one fish, if you catch one fish and know that what is still around you, that there are unconquered billions of dollars that is allocated to your destiny before you leave this earth, you will not run. So he said, I will stay upon my tower and catch a fish. Then he said, write it so that he that read it may run. Every genuine visionary, they are true runners. Why I am running is because of what I have seen. You have not seen anything. You want to just take life. What is it? You say, I won't kill myself. But if you have seen something, he said for the joy that was ahead of him, he despised the shame. And he was targeting that. I'm going towards something. I'm going towards something. I must reach there. You will reach there. Your glory will speak. Stand to your feet. You will reach there. You will reach there. You will reach there. Colorful, shiny, bright. Ah, we get there. Colorful, shiny, bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. All of you, all of you, shiny bright. I must get there. All of you, shiny bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. My future is bright. For the last time, all of you, shiny bright. I must get there. All of you shining bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. My future is bright. I must get there. Now take your note in your hand. For time's sake, you are going to pray yourself out of those five situations. Lord, I'm rising out of Jericho. Everything barricading my destiny. Barrenness, sickness, out of my way. I will give you the next two minutes to pray the five prayer. Get out of Jericho. Arise from blindness. Arise from begging. Arise from mockers. Beyond the mocker. Arise from evil garment. Now for the next two minutes, go ahead and pray it into your life. I rise. I rise. My glory rise. Command your glory to come out. Of Mocha, I won't listen to Mocha. I know where my destiny is. I won't listen to Mockers. I won't listen to Mockers. I won't listen to Mocha. Mashata Lada Bariata Dagadoshat. Ele Bariata. My destiny is my destiny. My man of God is my man of God. 
My mantle is my mantle. My connection is my connection. No, I rise. I rise. I rise. I rise. I rise. One minute, one minute to go. One minute to go. One minute to go. I rise. My glory must speak. I rise out of this situation. I rise. This same business that crash will rise. I rise. Somebody pray for yourself. Somebody pray for yourself. Somebody pray for yourself. Somebody pray for yourself. Pray for yourself. Right. Now cast away that garment. That garment of laziness. That garment of too much sleep. That garment of lethargy. That garment of character flaw. Do away with that garment. Do away with that garment. Do away with that garment. Masata la da barriata dosa. Eleva riata da. E por rosa. Eshele gade gadosa. Eshele de. 30 seconds remaining. 30 seconds remaining. There are five of them. There are five of them. Get out of them. Get out. My glory must speak. My glory must speak. Jericho, you can't stop me. Evil garment, you can't stop me. You can't stop me. Mashat Allah Dabariata. You sickness. The garment may be sickness. Sickness, you can't stop me. No. No. Impediment. You can't stop me. I'm getting out. I'm getting out. Thank you, Father. In Jesus. Mighty name we pray. If you have your oil there, bring it out. I'll pray over the oil. This is the first morning. This is the first morning. Bring it out. Now, while we are doing that, everyone that needs to hand over to Jesus, you will put your right hand on your chest and pray this prayer with me. And you will do that with all your heart so that this oil can work for you. If you want to hand over your life, please. Uh, at the end, we will be sharing with our neighbor. Put your right hand on your chest. Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you today to hand over my life unto you. Please forgive me all my sins. Remove my names from the book of death. Write my names in the book of life. I receive you today as my Lord and my Savior. I will serve you. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Amen. I pray for you today that the Lord cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Bring out that oil. You can open it up. You can also share with your neighbor who doesn't have. This is the oil of arise. Arise. From anything that has kept you down, arise. You don't have excuse. Arise from there. Where you fell, there you will rise. Arise from there. There are worse things that have happened to people and they arose. So arise. Now, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I decree and declare over every content in your body, it becomes the instrument of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. At the application, there will be manifestation. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Put it in your palm. At the count of three, you are going to plant it on your head and declare, I arise. You will mention seven things that you want to rise from. What will not keep you down on the floor anymore? I arise out of this sickness. I arise out of lack of money. I arise out of lack of capital. Capital that I need to execute my destiny is released. At the count of three, you plant it. One, two, three. Say, I arise. Say, I arise. Say, I arise. And my glory will spread. Go ahead and mention seven things that the oil will help you arise from. And then I pray for you. I rise out of it. 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 Ashala da bariata, ishala gadasha, efayash, oshototos, isikiti kituruda, ayano shada, enebene, enevoda, ishofotoda, usofeteda, isheketona, ukukukurua, igagandosha, ilaponosha, itata, 
In Jesus mighty name we pray. Now cover your hair and stretch forth your hands as if you want to receive something. If you have your prayer request there, you can bring it out. I'm praying right now. There is something they call prophetic. I believe in me because this has lifted me every time for the next level. You will bring, but I will speak into my life. Nobody can bless himself. Everybody is blessed by someone. Now, in the name that is above every other name, everything that has kept you down, today you rise out of it. You rise out of it. Where they have put your destiny in the pit, in the name of Jesus, you rise out of it. 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 Out of depression. In the name of Jesus, you come out of it. Out of frustration, you come out of it. From the floor, you rise out of it. From the miry clay, you rise out of it. That business you are thinking about, it shall not fail. That money they're supposed to pay you, they release it now. In the name of Jesus, every capital you need for the next level is hereby released today. Is hereby released today. Every horn of darkness that is fighting your destiny, we scare them away now. We frighten them now. In the name of Jesus, your glory will speak. Your star will shine. Your glory will speak. Your star will shine. Every sickness, weakness, disease, infirmity, they disappear from your body. The reason for your creation, the reason why your pregnancy was not aborted, the reason why you are, your photos was not menstruated away, your seed was not menstruated away, I decree and declare, let there be greater manifestation. Greater manifestation. Greater manifestation. The reason why those things that are supposed to have killed you, that you have been through in journey of life, have not killed you. The reason why you are still alive. Let that reason come to pass. Let it come to pass. And I decree, between now and the evening that we will meet, you will at least have three major testimonies. In the name of Jesus, credit a lot like water. In the name of Jesus, you will not see evil in the day. No evil emergency. No evil call. In the name of Jesus, only good news. Only great news. Only joyful news. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Father. You are now here ordained on this first section, in the morning section, as arise. 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 Your business rise. Your career rise. Your destiny rise. Academic rise. Gain stature in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Jesus' name we pray. Somebody say, I receive it. Say, I embrace it. Say, it is mine. Say, I will testify. Give Jesus Christ a clap of rain. Are you blessed? Say, I'm blessed. Please take your seat and let's honor the Lord right now. Let's honor our maker. This is the first seed in this conference. Prepare your seed. Yeah. Prayer is a seed. Giving is a seed. And each seed comes with their own relevant affairs. If it is resources you want, it's resources you sow. So pick up your seed and let's honor the law. In the evening, it will start by 5 p.m. Power for new era. Power for new era. A new dawn. Your new season has started. Now we decree and declare over every seed that is lifted up. That the rain of heaven rests upon it. You will never lack resources. In the name of Jesus, financially from this morning, your glory will speak. Thank you, Father. Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Tomorrow morning, this morning section continue. 7 a.m. Uh, 6 a.m., sorry. 6 a.m. And all not before he, like the day we are through.
shall we stand if you have dropped your seat okay you drop it after the grace and now i decree and declare that from this morning let your new beginning start before we will meet in the evening you're already rejoicing with your testimony in the name of jesus thank you father jesus name we pray don't forget to bring others when you are coming in the evening and tomorrow morning as well today is your first time step forward to the altar surely god's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives and we shall dwell in the house of the lord forever and ever amen 2024 my year new era my year of new dawn my year of higher dimensions these are my portions amen hallelujah the lord bless you the lord go with you make his face to shine upon you in the name of jesus if today is your first time or you just handed over your life to jesus step forward to the altar and god bless you please tell 12 people the lord has done it for me and greet them good morning and good morning to you all so good to see you this morning and let's keep it up all through the week. And God bless you in Jesus' name. Make sure you reach out to somebody. Church is about fellowship. Today is your first time or newcomer. You step forward to the altar. We'll pray with you. The Lord go with you this morning. The Lord be on your eagle swing. Make his face to shine upon you. You hear good news from your loved one. Both home and abroad, it shall be good news. In the name of Jesus. Good morning and God bless.